Hello, I'm Matthew Fenn. And my name is Kai Wilder. And this is Canada News Now. Canada has recently started the internment of Japanese Canadians all over Canada. This includes up to 22,000 Japanese Canadians. We return now to the news. Japanese Canadians were known as Nikkei Kanada Jin, which translates to second generation of Canadian origin, which means most were born and raised in Canada. The treatment, exclusion, and loss of Japanese property is unfair and forcibly cruel during these times of World War II. 22,000 Japanese Canadians are being interned, and in the first stages of relocations, hundreds of families were broken apart. Hundreds of fathers and husbands were sent to road camps to build roads to the close mountains, while the families and children were incarcerated in internment camps. The men had a choice between sugar beet farms created to combat farmers' labor shortage or work at the road camps. The families who had members that were sent to the barbed wire angler camp would never see their families reunited again. However, if they chose to, s to work at the sugar beet camps, they would be able to be with their family, and this was the choice taken by most married men. Without consent from the owners, the custodian of enemy alien property illegally took the property and landed the Japanese Canadians and sold it off. The Japanese Canadians are being moved to internment camps where they themselves are paying for their own incarceration and living expenses, except for their housing. Local school boards around the camps refused to educate Japanese Canadians and internees. The internees were forced to organize their own schooling. That was challenging. The U.S. is not alone in the unfair treatment and exclusion of Japanese. Canada is also having a huge impact on the lives and property of the Japanese. In taking their property, excluding them from their homes, and refusing to educate them, people of Japanese descent in Canada are forced into a dreadful living situation during these times of World War II. And I'm Kai Wilding. This is Canada News Now. I hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Have a good night. Shalom.